Shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down. Hey guys and welcome back to Virtual Life Uncovered with myself Kells and another tutorial. Today's tutorial is where the fun really starts. We're going to take our very first steps into a virtual world today on a brand new account. So I've never used this account before. I've not logged into any of the virtual worlds at all on this account. This is the one I've created purely for all of these tutorials. So you're going to get to see everything as it unfolds, not as it would if I logged onto my own account, which I've had for several um, months on there, or several years on there anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in all of this information so here you can see that you pop in this is the same view that we downloaded the previous video you see you pop in your username so you're going to pop your username in there you're going to put your password in there now this is basically what you're going to need if for the future for your first login it doesn't matter what it says but in the future this is really helpful because it can log you in from your last location so if you want to log if you want to log straight back in somewhere that you were previously it's ideal otherwise if you want to go to somewhere that you've set as a home point you press that one or you can type in a certain region if you know that you want to go somewhere these are all things we're going to cover shortly so don't worry about it too much but at the moment we're going to concentrate on just leaving it as it is there's no need to change anything else on there all we need is our username and password and then we're going to sign in so once you've got your password in there, you just click, you'll see that once you've got something in there, it'll let you log it in. As long as your details are correct, it should log you straight through. So here we go, we've clicked on the button, we've clicked login, and now we're going through. It's loading up the world. It can take a little while. It really does depend upon the speed um, and of your device as well. So just give it a little time for it to work through everything. And of course, it has to work through things such as your um voice settings and all sorts of stuff like that especially initially so just give it some time to cycle through all right so it's saying your request location is not currently available that's because we've never logged in here before so it can't log you into somewhere you've previously never been because you've never been there <laughs> so it's logged you in and this is where on this grid on tag grid if you ever have log tried to log into somewhere and the place you're trying to log into isn't online for some reason it could be that they're doing maintenance on the grid it me it will will always put you to this welcome point because this is the welcome point so this is the first thing you see right the first thing you see when you log in i'm just going to close that so this is it so this is me i'm a brand new person i'm a noob um and so this is just me at the moment looking around here i am so it's basically what we're going to do from this point so as you can see i'm hovering over stuff it's clicking it's shown as like people that have made things and what they're all called this is a great point of the tag welcome point because here i'm just going to zoom in slightly you can see that you've got a lot of tutorials here for you to click on there's information about setting your preferences there's information about the money and all sorts of stuff like that now we're going to cover all of this in detail so i'm not going to touch upon it too much at the moment um because we are going to come back and cover all of that as well but you can see here now to move yourself around in a virtual world all you do is you use your arrow keys so if you've never used anything before you've never um logged in anywhere use a virtual world it's just pretty much like you would imagine trying to walk as a person you use your arrows so if you want to walk forward you use your forward arrow you want to turn slightly to the left you tap your left arrow you keep your finger on you can spin around a circle you can walk forward you can walk backwards it's just basically that's how you would walk now as you can see she is walking rather oddly <laughs> because what we need to do is we need to pick up some bits and pieces to make us a bit more look less like a noob so the first thing we're going to do is go here now as you can see as we approach there i'll come back a little bit it does say get free starter avatar here now there is a few to choose from these are starter avatars all right so 
you can get amazing avatars these are ones that are free avatars you don't have to pay anything for these so you can always enter virtual worlds and not have to pay anything all virtual worlds have different avatar setups it just depends on what you want to do how you want to look as you can see there's male and there's female options there there's furry options as well which i absolutely adore these furries but i think probably for this video we may um, go with a human person rather than a furry just it gives us a little bit more options when I come to change some things down the line but don't be afraid to grab them all if you want I mean the free all you need to do is click on them so we'll go with this goth looking lady here we're going to click on her and that's going to get delivered to us there you can see you click on it object name tag female starter avi gothic owned by now constanza is the person that owns the grid we're going to touch upon her a bit more in a little while has given you this folder tag female starter avi gothic so you want to accept that okay and that's going to show in your inventory which we're going to look at in one second now then we're going to click on this here so we're going to have a look at everything in a second we're going to look at everything in more detail but i just want to make a look a little bit more attractive i'm not saying there's anything wrong with this person but um you know yes <laughs> we just want to look a little bit more like we belong so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this here now this little suitcase is your inventory think of this like a big wardrobe a big storage space now anything you click on you can move around when they pop up now i always have my inventory over to my right hand side and it normally remembers your preferences when you log out so when you come to log back in again when i log back in automatically i would expect to see my inventory at this side you can also make it bigger or smaller i'm going to make it slightly smaller because i prefer to have it a little bit more off screen uh, you don't have to have it open all the time like i say you can minimize it you can have it on or off it's up to you but it's pretty easy to have them up there now inventories already come with some pre-loaded items which we're going to cover in a second but what we're going to do importantly first is we're going to click on this folder here so as you can see these are all pre-made folders it comes right out of your trash anything in here is pre-made and then we'll come to anything that you then inherit once you're on the the world itself so the first thing we've got is a tag female starter avi gothic now what we're going to do is double click that to open it then we're just going to scroll down pull your bar down like that it's pretty simple there's a whole host of things in there that's going to make us look less like this person and more like the other person so what we're going to do is we're just going to attach everything so all you need to do is double click on that that's adding the skin and shape then we're adding a bald base now the bald base is important at some points because you can glitch sometimes on these things and sometimes it's very important to have this so even if you get rid of this avatar which you probably will down the line don't delete everything just keep it your inventory can be really your inventory is endless like mine you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff in my inventory but just keep it and don't delete it because this is really useful um if ever you get a little glitch and you need to just reset your avatar a little bit this is ideal thing to do that especially the ball base and the ball base also helps like when you have new hair that you buy no most hairs that you buy people will either provide a ball base or they'll provide the same color base for the hair that you're buying or um so you can always add that as well but i always keep mine especially your start obvious because you never know when you might need anything from there so just keep that don't get rid of it the other thing we're going to do is obviously load our eyes which makes our eyes there you go slightly less dead <laughs> and a bit more with it so we've done that part and then now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got our clothes on so again all you're doing is you just double click everything just double click it all it's going to add everything that you've got there it's going to add it all right so there's two different tops if it's got the same layer so what you can see there is i'm going to pull this out so you can see slightly more so you've got two options for the tops you've got the top or the top with sleeves so i'm going to leave the one with sleeves on but you can have the top without the sleeves in which would be that one but it does remove that now if you need to add both layers you would just right click and click add 
and it will add both but we don't need both at this point so we're just going to double click that to remove it as well okay so she's looking pretty good there apart from the fact she's bald and uh, we're going to put our gloves on put our shoes on put our shoe alpha on that just means that well we'll cover that more in detail but it means that it removes the image of your feet so that your feet slip into the shoes so they fit nicely I know it sounds really weird when you hear it like that but I promise you it's normal we'll come into that more in detail though there's her hair she doesn't look less she looks slightly less scary now we'll put our pants on because nobody has time for that and we're going to add this AO now I'm going to cover what an AO is in a little while Adding an AO is, for me, very important. This is a free AO and it's perfect for a free one. We'll double click that and we'll add it. Now, what happens with that AO is, I'm just going to move this down so you can actually see. You can see here we've got a little on off switch which wasn't there before. If I press that and it's off, you can see she goes back to this normal stance. That's a normal stance. If you have this on, what she does is she'll cycle through um, a variety of different poses and this slight movements. Our legs out, our leg will come back in, she might lean backwards, she might lean to the side. It just gives it a bit more realism because obviously in reality, when you stand still, how many people actually stand still on the spot? Not many so this is why that you know it's important that when you have that you can cycle through there's plenty of people that produce and make these aos you can buy some really good ones as well but for a free ao this is absolutely brilliant there's nothing wrong with this ao at all and um, so if you don't want to invest money in that don't worry about it you don't have to i mean as you can see here she looks all right there's nothing wrong with the way she looks as a, for a basic avatar for a starter avatar and you're going to be able to find some more clothing you're going to find some more hair you're going to be able to pick up freebies you don't have to spend money on virtual worlds and we're going to discuss that more uh, later down the line anyway but this is for a freebie and for starting out she looks pretty sweet i think so she's dressed she's ready to face the day and so are we so we're going to continue on our journey the other thing to note here is you have these little pins yeah, they look like pins or tacks, depending on which side the pond you're from. Um, but these little pins here are what we call landmarks. So essentially, if you think of that on a big map, that's what it would be. Um, and there's a few landmarks in here. You've got a sandbox. Now, a sandbox is brilliant for if you want to build something, but you don't have your own land or enough of enough space to build on your own land. Uh, this is ideal place to go for stuff like this. If you're unsure if you want to unpack a box and you don't have your own place to go to do that, because sometimes you might get something that isn't in a folder it might be in a box and you have to res it out which is you have to put it out into the world and you have to open the box so all of that has to happen um as well so you'll need a, somewhere you can do that if you can't actually pop the box out on a piece of land which sometimes you can't because not everywhere you can you can do that on other people's land so it is always useful to have that you've got the mainland information center there's an early mist one and a persia one there and then further up we have the snake isolator mainland information center now that's handy for when you want to get your land so make sure that you can have a look around all those which we're going to do in a second but now we're just going to have a quick look around this welcome point a little bit further and see what else is on offer here so a couple more things I want to touch upon before we go anywhere is we're going back to this starter Abby pack here. Now, I probably went a little bit quick through them, but I just wanted to get our changed because <laughs> um, it's not that I don't like the initial avatar, but it just it looks a bit odd to me. So um, when you've been in virtual worlds as long as I have, it, it, it doesn't really look great. So this is why we, we need to get our dressed in something that is suitable. So then you can see we've also got some note cards. So these are called note cards. These little cards here that look like postcards are actually note cards and they're always full of helpful information. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open them and have a quick flick through to see what they've got on there. So what we're also seeing firstly is that tags um, offer a new at your first bit of land. Now we're going to cover land in a little bit as well, but 
land basically is your own space so you can explore the different um, places that virtual worlds have to offer a lot of places have a lot of um, land that's open to ev access to everybody such as where we are now and uh, such as event clubs um, beaches thought that sort of stuff you know but there are some places that are closed to the public because they are owned by residents such as myself so I have a sim that's my home sim and that's not open to anybody to come on I would have to invite somebody on there and um, but I also have another plot of land that is open to everybody which is a stable yard um, and that gets a lot of footfall every day people are on there all the time so it just depends where you go but you can always search for these different places but one of the benefits that tag grid offers you is when you first register with them is that you have um, a first 30 days you have some free land that you can use so for 10 X's so 10 X's X's is the virtual currency that Tagrid use which again we need to cover in more detail but it's like we're talking a couple of pence it's nothing the, the, we're not talking pounds or anything like that it's nothing and often you can um, get some free money anyway when you first come into a, a virtual grid sometimes you might be lucky enough to meet somebody who has and this happened to me in second life when i first joined i met somebody one of the first people i met who remained one of my friends through my whole journey on second life um one of the first people i met on there actually gave me a little bit of money because when he first joined second life that happened to him so he was paying it forward so then when I met people further down the line new people that were joining I did the same and you might often meet people on virtual worlds who do that as well who are like here welcome along here's a couple of you know books or X's or whatever it is the currency that they use to help you on your way very common very common for that to happen you can't rely on it because it's you know it doesn't happen everywhere but it is quite a common thing there is also something called the money tree which is open to uh, new residents as well which means that people like myself and people who've been residents for a while we will often pay a little bit of money into the money tree because it does help new residents get on their feet because you don't always know if you're going to want to spend money or if you have money to spend in a virtual world so you don't always know if, if you want to make that commitment initially and so it shouldn't always be about how much money you can spend on somewhere like a virtual world and it's not all about the money so we will always put a little bit of money in and you can go to a virtual uh, tree the money tree click on that where you see the dollar bills and basically it'll add some x's which we're going to have a look at in a second as well and um, but for 10 x's they're letting you basically claim a free plot of land for 30 days so that's for a month so this really gives you the opportunity to see if if it is something that you're going to enjoy it gives you a base point like a home camp and it's like okay then great that's what i can do and then obviously after that as well you have a little bit more information from them also um what happens after the 30 days will i be homeless so obviously after the 30 days they're giving you three options you can find somewhere else to live which you know could be either you rent with them you rent with um a independent property renter on here which there are some um or you can get your own place you can buy your own land land here is really cheap if you're going to spend time on here and you want something that you can really get into we will cover it in a little while but land here is exceptionally cheap land on second life is not um because they have a whole different setup it's a whole different thing and i'm not going to run anyone down everyone's prices are different because everybody pays different prices to host their own virtual world so that really is up to the owners of the grids but uh here it's really cheap and you get really good value for money but what you also have the option of doing is renting a plot from them themselves um which is just all depends on what it just depends on what you want to do some people just don't ever want to have a home and in second life i didn't have my own place for a long long time because i just didn't want to put any money into it i couldn't afford to really at the time and i just wasn't really sure if that's what i wanted to do but as time went on i ended up with my own 
plot of land which i had a little house on and then i expanded but again this is more matte area <laughs> so we'll cover that more in one of our future talks but please just take the time to have a look and see what you want to do so this is one at the first note card so make sure you take advantage of that because it's great just to have a welcome point of your own like a home point of your own to start with then you've got a welcome to the adult grid with lots of pointers on there it tells you about the currency that they use which is really important and um, because they are called tag books as again all virtual worlds will have their own virtual currency or they'll call it their own currency or their own name or they have a shared currency but that also depends again on the virtual world that you're going to so we'll cover that soon as well it gives you a little information about land there so make sure you do read that as well and then obviously with the tag welcome group make sure you join the welcome group which we're going to do in a moment then i'm just going to go and scroll down to the bottom of this where we've got the next no card which is making money um and there you go so it's a little bit in there about making money but we're going to cover that in detail because believe me um there is a lot of ways that you can make money on virtual worlds i doubt you'll become a millionaire <laughs> unless you have a really good product um in which case hey don't forget your friends um but there is a lot of different ways where you can make a little bit money enough to keep you going but you can also invest a little bit money if you're going to um be on here for a long length of time if it's something you really enjoy so we're going to cover that in a little while but let's just go back to our initial tour around the grid on here then i'm just going to spin around a little bit so as i said before you've got your avatar so take as many as them if you want you might want to mix and match them up you might like an outfit you might like a particular hair you might want to be blonde whatever you want to do just take whatever you need and then you can just keep them in your folders as well then you can walk along here as i said before these are all note cards that you're going to be able to click on all important information uh, you can go right in there to have a look at what's next and all sorts of stuff like that but we're going to cover that more in depth shortly so she's walking she's walking along i mean this is a beautiful welcome center with a nice decor nice space not too daunting there's not too much flung at you from the outset which is very important i think especially if you're brand new to virtual worlds and you've got bits and pieces here so it's telling you you need to start here and work your way around that way which we will do but we're going to do that in depth properly then we've got some little um information here now this is very important can i bring my stuff over from another virtual world we're going to cover that in depth as well um because that's very important as is the dmca policy but that we need to look at that further down the line because obviously as a newbie it doesn't really concern you at the moment the other thing to note is you've got the staff boards here so on here you have the owners of the grid here so these three people are owners of the grid of virtual of tag grid of our virtual world here um and you can meet these people anytime lord normally is here at the welcome center to greet people as they come in he might look very menacing but he's really not <laughs> he's a big softy and very very welcoming and constanza can't do enough to help people so it's always worth just checking out when you come on to any new virtual world see who the owners are and find out a bit about them chat with them and then you can always gauge if that's going to be somewhere that you're going to be comfortable with it's really important to have good grid owners in my opinion who are really on board with moving the world forward with making sure the residents are happy and with obviously taking comments and things on board as well it's really important for that to happen and um, because it makes your virtual experience so much easier it might be that you want to keep yourself to yourself which is perfectly fine or it might be you want to get involved with all sorts so it just depends on what level of comfort that you find you've also got there as well the list of um tag staff there also i don't know who she is <laughs> um but you've also got people that you can contact if you need any help so you've got grid mentors um and people along the lines like that so if you need help you're stuck with something you contact these people you see who's online uh, and then you just drop them a line obviously i'm not logged in because i'm logged on this one but normally i would be online and if somebody needed something then obviously people are there to help so all you need to do then is we're going to take a big leap of faith 
and we're going to go through the tunnel so as you can see there's a big sign here that says welcome freebies and games now you want freebies as a person who first goes on any virtual world you don't want to be paying for stuff initially you want things that are free we're going to take a walk underwater here now guys down we go appreciate the, the um fishies they are in the water you are not uh, you're in the tunnel but yes appreciate the fishies the beautiful deco that you've got there as you travel through the virtual world into your next point of call which is the actual gathering point at the welcome center where people where there's meetings sometimes people will gather here and and you get a lot of information at these places so i'm going straight over here the first thing we can see when we come on here is actually um, this beautiful poster. The person who did this, very talented. Um, you've got the welcome point here where you can click for the welcome group. Now, I'm advising everybody to click that. So what we do is we're going to open this here, which is your speech bubble. This is your chat box. Again, I always move my chat box down. Um, but this is your chat box is really important because you can see if people talk to you now you've got nearby chat if I was to have a conversation um, personally where I just want one other person to hear that's different and we'll do that shortly but this is in local chat if I went hello obviously there's nobody in front of us look at the moment on purpose but if I went hello someone would say hello back you would hope and um, but that is obviously that's your name there and what you're saying so remember whatever you write in nearby chat anybody within a certain radius can see that so always be aware of that don't start having a conversation that you should have in private in nearby chat because everybody can see it you've got here the welcome group invited so i clicked on this and it's got please click this link for group page so i'm going to click this link here this brings up the group profiles now this is really important groups are very important part of your virtual world experience because groups give you the information and keep you updated with what's happening and what's going on now at the moment you can't say anything because you're not a member of that group most groups are free to join it's very very rare that somebody will actually charge you to join a group and if that happens there must be a reason why they want a fee or a payment for that to happen because it really doesn't cost anything to set groups up and it's very important to your business uh, especially if you're like running a club or running an event or whatever that you have a platform to be able to tell people about what's happening now this is tag welcome this is also where you would ask questions if you were ever stuck so what i'm going to do is i'm going to join now and i'm going to click yes i want to join i'm part of this group now so what it's going to do is it's going to update things which means i will then be able to see the ins and outs who else is in this group um, who's staff you can click on members and roles and you can click on there for example everyone so you can see there's 1326 people are in this group so it's very important to have this group particularly um, and then you can see there you've got tag grid events so anybody who's part of the tag grid events their name comes up there anybody who's part of the tag grid staff their names come up there so if you need to message somebody personally all you would do there is just right click on the name and click down there to send IM. So you're sending them an instant message. So there you can see I could write something to Constanza if I wanted to. I won't because she might reply uh, when she comes online. But I could type something in there and she will be the only person that sees that. So that goes to her directly. But obviously at the minute I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to click off that all together and close that down. So we've joined our very first group. What we're going to do as well is click on here to join us on discord now discord is a massive part um in my opinion of the benefit of tag grid because if somebody's not online in world because you may be on the go you may be out shopping or you may be sitting in the car you may be having you know a passenger in the car going somewhere but somebody says something on discord you can always join that discussion in on your phone so for me i would always advise people to have discord before i never had discord until i um 
until in worlds was closed and actually was when we started to use discord more and it's been a godsend ever since people can message me i can message people i've arranged events through discord so to me it's a really fundamental thing to be able to have that because it gives you another avenue to contact people when you're not in world itself so you've still got that option open so by all means click on that again you're going to get the discord option there it gives you the invite and you just follow that through i won't do that because i'm already on discord uh, so that would seem a little bit strange but i will cover the discord channel as well in depth in a, in a couple of videos time just so you've got a good idea of that as well because that's always another point of contact and then you've got the fourth of july bill contest there if you wanted to if you were interested in that you can click on that and it'll give you the information as well on there so we're at the welcome center and now we're going to see if we can hunt some freebies our hunt begins <laughs> So here we we'll go around this beautiful setup as well. Now this is just a very, very small place for the in the welcome centre. It's not crowded. I'm just going to touch upon this little bit here. You've got a nice area set up so people can sit around and talk. For me, this is a lovely place to come when you first enter any virtual world. But I don't need to be there. Um, this is not like a big shopping complex. There are loads of places to shop on tag grid as there will be on any of the virtual worlds there'll be individual stores there'll be big shopping malls as well so you just need to um get yourself really involved and see what's out there but the first thing we're looking at here is the marketplace now tag grid has its very own marketplace not every virtual world does um and this is a great benefit for tag which we're all going to discuss more in detail as well further down the line but this is where you get the information from this is where you sign up to the marketplace because it is a separate forum from the website that you've already signed up to but we're going to cover that in more detail that's another video entirely then we're going to have a look at these freebies now these are not clothing these are just random things there's all sorts of stuff in here from chairs to statues to balloons to balls to space hoppers for example there's a bouncy ball there we'll get one of them why not it's free as you can see it's a freebie buy for zero x's so that's what we're going to buy we're going to buy a big old bouncy ball um, and that'll come up in your inventory as well in a second so we're going to go around there again i'm just going to quickly show you this why we're at the welcome center why not there is behind this robot -y thing here which we'll come back to there is this here which is your events page um events board sorry which is the same as the events page on the website so we will talk about that more in detail soon but this little thing or oh, big thing that's flashing at us at the minute this is the raffle bot now tag grid won a raffle bot where you can buy tickets raffle tickets um obviously it costs X's, so at the moment we're not going to do anything with that because we don't have any um but the last one you can see there was annie annie Moore was the last winner um and the next raffle is drawn on sunday at two minutes to midnight so you can see there as well how much is in the pot and all sorts of stuff like that it's always a good fun it's just a little bit of fun for the residents as well there and we're just going to um, touch upon the next freebies which is over here you've got a male freebie store and a female freebie store obviously you can take bits from everything i do uh, and then you can see here there is all sorts of stuff so you've got your free avatars here which were up in the other point before and then you've got a whole host of things on this wall that you can click on for example there's some hair which we'll take there's hair uh, there's a hair voucher here which we're going to discuss as well so we're going to just take that then we've got things like shorts we've got a nice top there why not got some underwear very important um, we've got some jeans everybody needs a pair of jeans in their life i mean who doesn't uh, we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces like that that's a nice top we'll take that the thing what you have to get for free while, while you're here is and people will laugh at this when they say these pajamas you cannot be without pajamas you never know when a pajama party might pop up so make sure you grab yourself some free pajamas we'll take that as well because it looks that looks nice in fact they all look nice to be honest they're free take it all 
but it's also handy to have these freebies when you go to events because for example you've got different sorts of dresses here there's a dress there's gowns there'll be events on where you want to get dressed up and you don't have to pay a lot of money to do it i still can't believe that these are actually in this freebie store these are beautiful fantastic jeans to wear and you have of course these lovely dresses also you've got swimwear again the swimwear is something there'll be swimwear parties all sorts of stuff like that so make sure that you grab as much as you want also just going to go over to this little bit here now you have got some makeup here as well you've got eye makeup you've got eyeshadow you've got lipstick you've got hair bases you've got all sorts of stuff like that these are brilliant things to have and you've got free t-shirts there as well you've got earrings people just make stuff it gets popped in the freebies and why not you've also got different bits and pieces here like welcome things from various people who've made stuff for tag grid as well same goes for the men's stuff there's a load of men's freebies in there as well you can have a nice shirt and tie um some nice swim shorts there i mean ladies could wear those as well if they wanted to there's no reason why not you've got your pajamas classic you've got some beautiful jeans there I have to say nice pairs of jeans there for the guys some nice sweaters in there also and of course some shirts t-shirts that sort of stuff the that is brilliant for freebie i think for guys but we've got what we need for freebies for clothes so she's got a few options she can change our outfit now and her hair which is going to be really important and that's pretty much it for looking round for the freebies so we've got our freebies the other thing i want to show you before we go anywhere is of course the money tree before we go off to find our money tree i'm just going to talk you through a couple of bits down the bottom here so a couple of things from your menu the first thing we're going to obviously we've talked about the chat box and we know that we can pull that up there if we want to where you can you can't put this on here because this is you're not allowed to talk on this particular um bit of land so it doesn't have voice enabled on here but it does obviously have it on other pieces of land so we will be able to press that on somewhere else and talk this obviously is the voice controls for voice morphine blah 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 it's not something that i ever use really it's not really something you need to pay too much attention to at the moment then you've got your little <laughs> person when you click on this person this is basically showing that you can walk go into running mode so if i went forward she would be running or and i know everybody wants to do this you can fly now flying is great to get around places quickly but you don't have as much control over your little avatar as you would if you were walking so it's good if you're crossing over vast bits of land looking for something in particular and of course you can just stop flying but it's not ideal if you need to walk places so we're just going to click back on walk i'm just going to move that down you can leave that but up if you want you can move it around like i say just hold it down and move it but we're just going to minimize it we don't need it at the moment this next part is your camera control so you can actually control where you this is the default setting that we've got at the moment but you can do it from a, like a bird's eye view sort of thing as if you were looking at it from your the eye point of your avatar or you can move your camera up or down like so um, but for me i'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment because it's just what i'm used to so we're just going to click off that but again don't be afraid to mess around with these settings get it so it's comfortable for what you like this is something i use quite a lot because it is a nearby um facility that tells you where people are so you can see from here we're near these two people crazy nut and cookie tag and newbie noob we're near those people they're like 9.99 meters away from us there are other people further away we can't say who they are because they're out of range but we know that they're there and then jesse devil is uh closer we can see where she is sort of thing we can't see where she is sorry we can see that she's close that that's how far away she is but we can see she's there now with this this when you ever you're at an event 
is really great for when new people arrive because you can see new people landing all the time so this is why i use that i don't use it really for anything else other than to see who else is on a region and i always seem to have mine up so i always have mine like that behind my chat box just because it fits perfectly i'm just going to shrink it down because i don't really need to know like the ins and outs of everything just the name so we're just going to shrink that down a little bit there so we're going to leave that open the next thing is this little t-shirt icon you can change your appearance now at the moment we don't really need to do that but you can click on that you can save this outfit if you wanted to you could save it as um goth well you could if you could spell goth new um and then you can just click ok now when you go in, it's that lists everything that you're wearing at that moment everything so even the attachments like your eyeballs um or your ear or anything like that is all on there so we're just going to click off that a second and then if we went into our suitcase again if we go up to this part again right up to the beginning of our little inventory here you can see where it's got a part that's called clothing and then you've got a part that's outfits so what we've just done is we've just saved an outfit so if we click on outfit you can see there it's got goth new that's what i called the outfit so i can click on that and everything's in there this is really handy if you um have a particular outfit that you want to wear especially if you're mixing matching things so maybe you've got shoes from one uh, outfit you're wearing trousers from another you're wearing a top from another but you want it all to mesh together i do that quite often then all you do is you do exactly what we've just done there you click on your t-shirt you save the outfit and you can save it as whatever you need then if you need to quickly find it in future you can so that's an ideal thing to do as well so from that point i'm just going to close that a second as well so that was your t-shirt we're going to come back to this in a second because this is the next part of what we're going to do you've also got here a little map so this map means that this shows you where you are shows you how many people are on the same these little green dots are people or avatars there's a little green person here well i don't know if they're green we haven't seen them but there are people around the place and then you can see as well if there's any parcels or any land for sale those are what these little bits are so it means that you can rent these little places it also shows that you can um look click on for example buildings and things like that you can use this and scroll through it so you can see there's another part of the help center there you can go through and do all of that you can go up and down etc or you can do what we're going to do in a second and we can look for a particular name of some land so we know well you don't but i do that what we're going to do is go to a place called wonderful cove so you would type in wonderful cove and it's going to then show you exactly where wonderful cove is and you're going to be able to then okay that's the layout of wonderful cove and we're going to want to go here and then we're going to click teleport and that's what's going to take us there but we'll come back to that in one second just to finish off what else is on there you've got the mini map which a lot of people use to show if there's people nearby but i actually don't use that because i'm using the nearby on here which i find easier it's just preferences you've also got the ability to take a photo now beware some places will charge you if you take pictures and keep uh, downloaded to your computer and um, the tag grid doesn't uh, charge you for downloads or uploads at all so you don't have to worry about that you can take as many pictures as you want you can save it either on your computer or on your device or you can save it in your inventory so what we'll do is we're going to take a picture of ourselves why not so let's have a look at our and we're going to say all right here's our first picture oh i went too far the first picture of ourselves we're going to do that we're going to click on this here where it says save image to file so we're going to click save as and it's going to save to our computer and we're going to call her goth and it's going to save to the computer which you can always upload that image if you want or you can click on selection and instead of saving it to your computer which is your disk we're going to click on save to inventory 
So then we're going to click refresh that and we're going to save that image. There we go. That's our first ever picture that we've taken on Tag Grid. So we can use that whenever we want. If we want to do it on a profile or whatever, we can use that. We've got our picture. And that stays in your photo album. You can keep them, you can delete them, you can make new folders or whatever. Always nice to have some pictures to look at as well. And then these parts, we're not really going to look at too much. This is an animation or variety. So this is when you have, I'll just close this a second. When you've got this on, you can always click on this overrider, which will stop anything from um, happening. So if you need to, if you get, it's more helpful if you get stuck in a particular thing, a pause or a dance or whatever, if you get stuck on that, which doesn't really happen often these days. It did in earlier virtual world days and it used to be a godsend, but now it doesn't really happen as much. And then of course you've got the um, quick preference, but we don't need to look at those too much yet. So we're going to just quickly go back to our maps and you can see there we've typed in wonderful cove. That's where we're going to go. But I want to just quickly show you this search function. So this is great because you can search for so much on here. You can search for people. So if we wanted to look for Constanza, we would type in here Constanza Amsterdam or just Constanza and it would bring up a list of people with that name and obviously then you can make sure you've got the right person which means you can either open their profile send them a message or add as friend you can look for certain groups you can look for places which is what we've just done and um, you can look for land sales events on there or any classified ads so this is really helpful if you're looking for shoes or hair or anything like that but really what we want to do is we want to go and have a look for some money. So let's bring back up our map and head off to Wonderful Cove. So we're looking for Wonderful Cove. We've found it. It just takes a little second to bring up the image. We're going to go here because it's approximately here where we need to be. And we're going to just click on teleport. And this is the first thing we're doing. We're teleporting for the first ever time. So here we go. This is perfectly normal to have that screen when you're teleporting. Well, how's about that? We've landed right near the money tree. <laughs> now, here we are at the money tree on Wonderful Cove. Now, Wonderful Cove is one of mine and Matt's uh, sims. So I knew there was a money tree here. That's why. <laughs> that's why I've came here residents donate to these all the time because obviously like i said earlier it is a great way for new people to be able to afford some little bits and pieces now as you can see the money trees have a little bill like dollar bill sort of thing as a leaf hanging over it so what we're going to do is we're just going to make a note at the moment that our account is at zero x's we haven't put any money in yet and we're just going to click on that as well so we'll get one x there so what you need to do is really just have a look around, have a look at all the trees and see if you can get some more money from the trees. Um, there are numerous trees in different places and of course they will sprout a few different leaves as well coming off there. Um, but you will be able to get some more X's up as well. Like I say, don't feel like you have to buy so straight away. There's plenty of things you can get for free. And you just need to go on a little money tree hunt, which I'm going to do in a second, which I won't keep you guys waiting for. But I don't want to take too much out because obviously it's pointless because I've clearly added money in today, um, which I've made sure that I've added in that money today. But I don't want to take too much out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send um, this avatar like I would with people that perhaps will meet in the future. Um, a little bit of money just to get them get them started so they have something maybe the need for the future but i'm going to do that just so there's a little bit on there in case we need to buy anything going forward but like i say you don't have to have money on virtual worlds it's not a necessity it is something that we're going to discuss more coming up so i hope that there's been a lot of points that you've enjoyed today and maybe that i'll encourage you to just delve in and have a look yourself the, it looks like a complicated setup. I really do understand that for people who've never ever used a virtual world before, never ever used this sort of interface. Like I get it. It looks daunting. You look at this and you think, crap, all of this, like what's this avatar? What's this button? 
I really do understand that but the only way that you can ever learn anything is by doing it so the best thing for you to do is download the viewer get yourself involved take your time if you're unsure about anything just ask but I'm going to cover a lot more information we're going to look at a lot more of the bits and pieces further down the line there's been a lot to take in today I get that but hopefully it's just going to encourage you to just take those little steps get yourself involved and come and join us why not on one of our virtual worlds whether it's with myself and Matt here or whether it's on another one somewhere else it just hopefully that it just makes it a bit less daunting that you really want to get involved so that's it for today's tutorial the next one we're going to cover a bit more to do with the preferences which is something you really need to do especially if you're brand new to virtual worlds because you don't want to have anything on your preferences that makes you look like you're actually typing when you're talking in world because there's nothing worse than that motion and i will show you that on the next video it really irritates me why they make people do that i don't know but there's an easy fix straight away for that and there's a few other preferences we're going to go through so the next video is going to be for preferences and then we're going to look a bit more at the, all the other bits and pieces we've got here all of the other ways uh, that you can interact with the stuff that we've got here and the options open to you so that's it for me for today i hope you've enjoyed the video that's all from virtual life uncovered Please like and subscribe, tell your friends and don't forget to wash your mittens.